All right, guys, for question uh, number one of the common ion effect, what we're going to be doing is taking a, an insoluble substance and putting it into a solution that already contains one of those ions. And remember, you kind of got to divorce the two situations and then marry, marry them back together. So, <clears throat> for example, you've got here a 0 0.025 molar solution of sodium carbonate. So what you want to think about here is you've got this um, uh, beaker here, and it's a 0 0.025 molar solution of sodium carbonate. Well, that means floating around in this solution, you have two sodiums and you have a carbonate, right? Um, so in reality, what you've got here is you've got 0 0.050 molar of the sodium and you've got 0 0.025 molarity of the carbonate that's there because there's two sodiums that's there and the one carbonate that's there. Now, what does this have to do with anything? This has to do with the fact that if we ignore that for just a second and we look at the KSP of the barium carbonate, then if we forget that this exists for just a second, then what we're going to do is we're going to take solid barium carbonate and we're going to uh, dissociate it into the barium ions and the carbonate ions, like so. And again, KSP then is equal to the barium times the carbonate. And we've got a number for that. That was uh, 5 times 10 to the negative ninth that was there. And we've got an I, and we've got a C, and we've got an E. Notice how every one of these problems is done identically. What does this here have to do with our setup up here? Well, what we're doing is we're trying to put barium carbonate into a system that already has the carbonate. Well, what about the sodium? Who cares about the sodium? The sodium is not involved in our system here. So consequently, our initial is not zero and zero like it normally is. Our initial is zero for the barium, but it is 0 0.025 for the carbonate. Now I still have a zero that's right here, so it's still going to be a minus x plus x plus x situation that we're going to end up with x and 0 0.025 plus x here. And if you are okay with that quadratic that will result from the uh, equilibrium here being plugged in, then go ahead and do it. I am not okay with that quadratic. I want to do it the cheap and easy way. And the cheap and easy way for this is to recognize that this number here, the negative ninth, is so small compared to this number here, uh, 0.025, that this x is going to be completely irrelevant. And so what we now have is we now have x and 0.025 that are going to go up there. And so we have x and 0.025 is going to be equal to 5 times 10 to the negative ninth. Your x then is going to be equal to... Uh, 5 times 10 to the negative ninth divided by 0 0.025. X is going to be equal to 2 times 10 to the negative seventh, and that should be your answer there. So there is your answer for that guy. So the whole idea of the common ion effect is that you're going to have one of the two substances here as an initial condition, and that is usually so large that the um, uh, change for it is going to be inconsequential. So so...